get the perfect shimmer for your skin tone. Here's how to make completely customizable shimmer body oils and lotion. Hi everyone, I'm Elise, and as always, you can find the full recipes along with more information on ingredients at holdelise.com. Shimmer body lotions are interesting products because they're a cross between makeup and skincare. To make our shimmer lotion, we'll need to start with a simple lotion first and add shimmer ingredients later. Using a scale, measure out water, either distilled water or freshly boiled water that has cooled. Next, measure out glycerin, camelina oil, and an emulsifying wax. I'm using Glycerol Sterret SE. Now you will need to use an emulsifying wax if you want to make this shimmer lotion. Emulsifiers keep the oil and water ingredients together, so there's just really no guessing around it if you want to make a lotion. There are, however, several different types of emulsifying waxes. So if you don't have glycerol sterret, click the eye icon above to see some alternatives. But don't worry if you don't have access to emulsifying waxes, keep watching to see how to make an oil-based body shimmer. To make a basic lotion, you'll need to heat the oil and water ingredients in separate containers before blending them together. For the water phase, add the glycerin to the water in a heatproof container and mix thoroughly. And then pour the camelina oil into the emulsifying wax to form the oil phase. Over a low, gentle heat, melt the oil and water phases until no solids remain. If you need to, switch to a larger bowl and then pour the molten oil phase into the water phase, whisking thoroughly before transferring to a flat surface. Lotions are formed by blending the liquid ingredients until they start to thicken and emulsify. An immersion blender is really the best tool for the job, but you can use an electric whisk if that's all you have available. Although it can lead to having some air pockets in the finished lotion. Blend for a few minutes, then scrape down the size of the bowl and allow to cool slightly. Now at the beginning, it won't look like much is happening, especially because this formula makes a thinner lotion, but stick with it. Continue to alternate between blending and cooling until the consistency changes to a thicker, creamy lotion. Once the lotion has completely cooled, add your not optional preservative of choice. As well as antioxidant, vitamin E oil is a great choice that's easily available. You can also add fragrance like essential oils at this stage if you'd like a scented shimmer lotion. If you're new to making lotions or you need a little more information on the steps I've covered, click the eye icon above to see a more detailed beginner lotion making tutorial. Once everything is mixed together, we can move on to the fun part, creating our custom color shimmers. Most use shimmer lotions on top of their regular moisturizer, so I've formulated the base to be ultra light and easily absorbed. That way, you can layer up on the shimmer without it leaving your skin feeling greasy or heavy, but you can also use this as a standalone lotion if you prefer to just use one product. Shimmers are usually a blend of color dyes and mineral pigments called Mika powders that you can mix together to create custom shimmers and colors. In addition to the standard gold Mika powder, I'm also using a bronze Mika powder to create a shimmer that will complement rich, darker skin tones. Here you can see the difference between using gold and a bronze Mika powder. Both produce wonderful shimmers, but the underlying colors are different. I'm using a mix of both powders. When you've selected your shimmer, measure out the Mika powders to create a custom blend. How much you use will determine the amount of shimmer that you have in your final lotion. Add the Mika powder to your lotion and mix continuously until all the powder is evenly incorporated into the lotion. Use a whisk to make sure that there are no clumps or pockets of powder. It's kind of hard to pick up the shimmer on camera, but the lotion has already absorbed the pigment to produce this rich bronze color. I've also created a second batch of shimmer lotion that just uses the gold Mika, so you can see the difference. 
This one has more of a caramel appearance and will be slightly yellow instead of bronze on the skin. For ease of use, I'd recommend either using a squeezed tube container or a bottle with a flip cap. Now this is the important part, because people often skip over how to actually fill your bottles. Most bottles tend to have a small opening, which isn't the easiest to fill. So depending on the consistency of your shimmer lotion, you might not be able to pour it into the bottle directly. If you find yourself in that situation, then you can transfer your shimmer lotion either using a syringe or piping bag, and that will make it so much easier. The key to a perfect shimmer is all in the application. For sheer coverage, apply the shimmer body lotion like any regular moisturizer, and massage it into your skin until it completely disappears. This will give you a lovely subtle glow that's great for daytime looks. For full on shimmer sparkles, I would use either a brush or a sponge to apply to the skin. This will give you more coverage and stop you from rubbing it in all the way. Next up, how to make shimmer oils. Shimmer oils are a really quick and easy way to get that sun-kissed inner glow without having to make a full-on lotion. Unsurprisingly, to make a good shimmer oil, you'll need a good oil. I'm using Camelina oil, which is a lightweight, fast-absorbing oil that works well for all skin types and blends easily with the mica powders. The Camelina oil gives it a rich golden color, but it's also fast-absorbing and lightweight, making it perfect for the summer months. So there are a few things that you should consider when picking your base oil. How fast does it absorb? Does it leave the skin feeling greasy? Can you apply it on top of other products? For alternative oils that you can use, as well as the full shimmer oil recipe, click the eye icon above or visit holdelise.com. Like with the shimmer lotion, measure out the Mika powder to add pigment and sparkle to the oil. You'll also need to measure out a small amount of castor oil to help disperse the Mika powder. By adding castor oil to the shimmer powders first, we can blend the powder together to form a thick liquid. The more you mix at this stage, the better your shimmer oil will turn out. So take the time to make sure that all the powder is fully incorporated and there are no clumps. When you're done, you should have this velvety smooth golden liquid. To ensure that not a drop is wasted, pour some of the camelina oil into the castor oil mixture first to dilute it, and then pour it back into the base oil. Add in a small amount of vitamin E to prevent oxidation. Sorry, I have no idea what happened to the recorded clip of that, but by now I do trust you guys to put in your antioxidants. After that, mix the shimmer powders thoroughly into the oil so that they're evenly dispersed. To bottle, I recommend using a dropper or pipette bottle. A little of the shimmer oil goes a long way, so it's best to have a container with portion control so that you don't use too much at a time. Like with the lotion, you can apply these shimmer oils either with your hands or with a brush. To apply, place a few drops of the shimmer oil directly onto your skin and massage in for a sheer shimmer that catches the light in the sun. For a stronger glow, use a brush to spread the shimmer oil over your skin, but don't massage it in all the way. Allow the oil to absorb and that will leave you with a rich, sparkly coating. But the best part about these oils is that they're so lightweight, you can actually use them with a spray or mist bottle. Meaning that you can just chuck this in your bag and get an instant shimmery glow with just a couple spritz. As always, you can find the full written recipes along with ingredients and substitutions at holelise.com and subscribe for even more skin and hair care tutorials.